Hello, welcome back to the Lent podcast. We have three days to go, including today. It is Holy Week and we are journeying through the Easter story um, in our podcast. And I'm going to be passing over to Dave, who's going to be giving us a thought for today. Yeah. And yesterday we were thinking about the Last Supper when Jesus spent time with his friends and ate bread and drank wine. And it was a way of remembering what he was about to do. And today we're coming to that event. So I know we're not a Good Friday yet in our week, but in our podcast we are. Today we are going to be thinking about Jesus dying. And that's not a very happy thing to remember. And that's okay. It might be that it makes you sad to think about that. But I want to encourage you and remind you that this is not the end of the story. It's not the end of our podcast because there is more yet to come. So... Shona, could you read this bit of the story about what happened when Jesus was on the cross? I can, and I'm going to be reading this in two bits for you. So first, this is from Mark chapter 15, verse 33 to 34, and it says this. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lemma sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And this next bit is from Mark chapter 15 again, verses 37 to 39. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus saw how he died, he said, surely this man was the son of God. Okay, so this is what happened when Jesus died. And there's a few things that happen around this that are important for us to spot. The first is that it got really, really dark. We hear that for about three hours, it's like the lights went off in the sky. It's like the sun went dark. What's going on there? Well, the thing is, Jesus and his father, God the Father and God the Son, they had always been close. They'd always been in relationship with one another. There'd never been anything that had separated them. And in this moment, they became separated. Because Jesus took all of your sin, all of my sin, all the things we've done wrong and all the things we ever will do wrong. And he took it on himself. And as a result, he was punished and he was separated from God so that we don't have to be. And their relationship, God the Father and God the Son, it was like that's what was holding together the whole universe. And so when they were separated, it got really, really dark. We hear Jesus say, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why have you why have you left me? He knows why, but it's hard. It's painful for him to no longer be close to his father. And he did it for you and for me. But then after Jesus died, here's another thing that we hear happened. The curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now, the temple was the place that people went to meet with God. And in the, in the central room in the temple, there was a curtain. And there was a place beyond that curtain that no one was allowed to go. And it was like God was in there and no one was good enough apart from one priest once a year to go in and to be that close to God. And in this moment when Jesus died, we hear that that curtain was ripped into from top to bottom, from God's end to our end, because Jesus made a way. Jesus was separated from God so that we can be close, so that we can enter in and be near to him. Jesus died so that everything that we do that might separate us from God doesn't have to anymore. And that's why, even though it's a sad day, we call it Good Friday, because it is a message of good news, because we can be close to God again. So my question is simply to say, how does that all make you feel? What are the sad parts of that story for you? And what are the good things about it as well? Thank you so much, Dave. I really hope that you have some good conversations um, around what was just shared. Now, we'll be back tomorrow for our penultimate episode of 
the Lent podcast. So don't forget to tune in. Um, and yeah, you'll hear a bit more from us tomorrow. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.